Here again is our hero, Jim Cannon. Now, most of you have met Jim before. He's actually a very decent sort of fellow with a deep respect for his fellow man. It's a pity most of his contacts happen to be with his fellow woman. Yes? I'm from the telephone company, ma'am. Oh, of course. I came to put in your prince's phone. That's wonderful. I never expected such quick service. Please forgive the way things look, but we've just moved in. And you know, you come just in time. Oh, we try to keep our appointments, Miss Burns. Well, I wasn't referring to your appointment. I meant this big box. Oh, what about it? Well, it's a chandelier. Would you help me lift it out of the box? Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm afraid they won't let me. Who won't let you? Oh, the telephone company, ma'am. They're very strict about that. I can't do any outside work. Come on, it would just take a minute. Besides, who'd make up such a silly rule? Oh, I don't know who makes the rules, ma'am. Uh, they just say no outside work. I have to install the phone, that's all. You know, your company has lots of funny rules. Why, just the other day, I tried to get the address of a friend of mine, and all they give me was her telephone number. Well, I wouldn't know about that, ma'am. I just came to install the phone, and I've got to put in a drop wire. Drop what? A drop wire, ma'am. It's from the pole to the house. Now, I don't make up the rules. I just try to obey them, ma'am. Where would you like to have the telephone? Over in the corner. Oh, anywhere. <laughs> I guess I better drop low and I gotta take off that branch. in the way. Well, I was here all the time. You could have at least asked me or strung your full wire somewhere else. Oh, Miss Burns, it's not going to hurt anything. The tree needed pruning anyway. <gasps> just wait. You just wait until my husband gets home. He'll go straight to the top man at your telephone company and give him a piece of his mind that won't be forgotten. <laughs> Who, me? Yes. What can I do for you, lady? Are you working on my phone? No, ma'am. Lady's over there. They just moved in. Yeah, I know. Is she going to be on my line? No, ma'am. She has a straight line. Well, how do you like that? Some buttercup moves in here and bats her eyelashes at the people down at the telephone company and boom, my private line. I've been waiting six months. I still got a party line. Have you called the business office, ma'am? Should I talk to the business office? 50,000 times, and what did I get? I'll tell you what I got. 50,000 times I got, sorry, lady, like one of them recorded announcements. Sorry, See, lady. there you go. Sorry, lady. Look, while you're up there, can you connect me to... Oh, I'm no movie queen, but I ought to get some consideration for being an old customer. I'm sorry, ma'am. Okay. Here goes call number 50,001. Thank <laughs> you. 